Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Okami HD episode 38. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We are now in the village of Whip Kier, which is kinda frozen over right now. Not much to do here right now though, but uh, one thing we can do is get this clover. And an orange. Very nice. That gets us a hefty amount of praise. Clovers are going to give us a lot of praise from here on out in, in these uh, later areas. There's not really a whole lot we can do here right now because we can't read any signs and we can't go in any doors. I'm guessing because we're not considered worthy to the Oyenu tribe or anything. I mean, we can't even go to the merchant. What's up with that? It doesn't make any sense. So the other thing to do right now is just head up. These stone stairs here. Break some snowmen if you want. I don't think they have a lot of anything. Can't even go in here. Just everything is closed off to you. The only there's only one place you can go. And that's all the way to the top. Where this angry guy is angry at us. Initially, I had thought that Samikul and several of the other Oina warriors and villagers would be related to the creation myth that Okikurumi stems from, but it turns out that there's really only one. So he knows it soon, too. Suspicious! So that's why we can't get into the houses. Well, you can try and force your way in, because, you know, I don't think we have any problems taking care of this guy, but I think it's better if we just leave it for now. Let's head over here to the feeding grounds and feed some bears! They usually eat fish. I think fish is what they normally eat. Yes, a bit of praise, and there's one chest around here. There it is. Pretty easy to find. Nothing special, though. It's... Oh, sorry, Mr. Bear, didn't mean to bite you. Let's get some Kutani pottery, so that way when we get the merchant later on, we'll be able to uh, sell it to him. Not much here for now, so we can just go ahead and leave. Yep, just go ahead and jump off here and head on out of the village, because we we have nothing left in here anymore. We are not wanted. Except... Another old friend of Asun's. It's like we're around his old stomping grounds. Alright, we can finally go in someone's house. Alright. There's going to be a lot of exposition in this episode, so let's just get it over with. Hi, Kai. Ooh. Kai doesn't relate to anything in the Oinu creation myth either. Or any kind of legend at all to speak of. She's just a deer girl. Oh, my God. 
Maybe it's the demons in the darkness we've been killing and sending up here. Ooh, twin demons. Oh dear. That was probably me. It's a party. Yeah, that was all us. Uh, sorry about that. Oh yeah, that demon slaying fool. Q theme. I actually really do like this theme. <laughs> because he's a brooding, excellent warrior. Well, no wonder why it's not working, you fool. Yeah, if we can kick his ass, he has no hope. <laughs> Aww. Brotherly love, or whatever it is. Mutual trust between two... Hardened warriors, I guess. I can understand why everybody's all on edge. Because a lot of bad shit's going on. I don't think they would trust some white wolf in here. They'd probably take me as another demon. And her little sister is gone, too. That's just fan-fucking-tastic. We're gonna guess they are, though, because, I mean, come on. What else could they be? Oh, great. Oh, that must be her now. Oh, wait, no. Alright, so that's the call of the Elder, so now we can make it inside of the Elder's hut. So, let's go do that. Just right up here. I think this is some Mikkel's house. We can't even... We still can't read signs? That's that's crazy. I don't know why we can't read signs. We did not have time to look at words. Does it take too much time soon? Eh, well, whatever. Oh no, he's dead! Oh, he's not dead, okay. He's gonna come and attack you, but uh, he doesn't really hurt you. But you just slash him or headbutt him and he'll come too. Comedy!
Oh, he's just an old guy. Well, the elder of the village, but still, he's not real. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, more exposition. Somehow. Well, why don't you explain that? I'm kind of glad that if there's like these long expositional cutscenes, I guess, they give you a break in between in case you want to save if you gotta leave or something, so it doesn't keep you here for an hour. Another great thing about this best game. Another great thing about this best game in the world. that now, I guess. Every elder seems to have their own incantation for whatever force of nature is affecting their village. Oh dear. I think we have our conflict for this part of the game. Just straight from Kamui. That's, that's pretty easy to find, really. You should see it once you get out of the village. Oh, come on, Isun, it's not that bad. Well, no, not you, because you're a coward. You didn't want to go into the forest. and markings, divine instrument. He can see me, but I'm not sure I knew he did. Well, yeah, you'll see. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. This, now, uh... We gotta do some, something real quick. Like, we can't move on unless we do it. He's gonna sound a horn, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that door is gonna open. So you think we could just immediately set up for Yoshpet, but we can't get to Yoshpet just yet. There's something we still need to get. Yet. So we'll head to the door that just opened. Ah! I see it about getting dark, not letting that shit happen. So we'll just head up here for now, because there's one item we need to get. Before we can move on. So now we're at Ezofuji. This is technically the final area of the game. Because the map doesn't go any much further than this. This is like the northern tip of the map. We have an origin mirror there. We've got this altar here, which will be important later.
Yep, very sacred place. Whatever. This is where we need to go, though. Get a chest here. Get another traveler's guide. Very crucial. We're gonna make our way over here. Game's not really exactly clear about what you're supposed to do, so you just gotta kinda know and just explore around and then figure out, oh, that's what it is. There's some animals to feed here. I think these are foxes or tanuki, raccoons, a combination of the three, maybe. They grant a little bit of praise, too. Nine. It's nothing to sneeze at, I'm sure. I'll just keep going along this path here. There's actually quite a lot hidden in this area. This is another one of my favorite areas because of just... Just, just... Every map is perfect in this game because there's just so much crap that they... that they put in here. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff here a little bit later on in the season. Than probably next season. Be another bear, get five preys. Looking good so far. And this takes us to Wauku Shrine. Thing is, we can't get in. And this is the final dungeon of the game, so to speak. We'll be getting there a little bit later, though, of course. Another origin mirror, in case you needed one. But in here is where you need to go. She automatically knows who we are. I guess so. She just knows everyone. Tuskal is the other link to the Ainu creation myth. When Okikurumi descended from heaven to teach the Ainu about the skills that they needed to survive, Tuskal was his companion as well. Finally, someone happy to see you soon. Position. I can see it, everyone. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend we don't know what that is. Yeah, I wonder what that could have been. <laughs> has to do with it. It's it's right outside. Yeah. Don't talk don't talk like it's so far away. It's just right outside. Go out, turn left, there's the lake. Actually, Well, that's dark. Hmm. The one surviving celestial? Hmm. 
I wonder where he could be. Well, great, we have an evil ship about 20 meters from us that's going to kill us. So now we have permission to enter Yoshpet. Now we need the item that will actually get us into Yoshpet, which I figure that Kimu would have gotten to us in the first place, but hey, whatever. Silva Prolo. Oh, lovely. Alright, finally! No more cutscenes, time to get some action going! And the episode's almost over, but hey, that's alright! This, uh, this amulet that was given to us is... Well, it's a key item. We don't have to equip it or anything like the fire crest when we had to get into Princess Himi uh, Queen Himiko's palace. So now we have everything we need to go into Yoshpet, which is where we are going to go right now. I'm pretty sure the village is open to us right now, which means that the merchant is now available because the uh, elder gave us the okay. Snake face. I'm sure that's a trustworthy image. So let's do some shopping, see what we can get. Let's see. Resurrection beads? abso fucking lootly Even though that drained most of my bank account, but that's okay. That's that's just fine. What can we sell? Uh, no, no, actually, yeah, we'll sell our uh, mermaid coins, because, again, we don't need them. Uh, let's see. Treasures. Sell the rooster statue, both the crystals that we got, and the tiny pottery, and, well, that got us a little bit of our money back. Don't worry, though, we're gonna have plenty of opportunities to get a whole bunch of money eventually, so no worries. What's up, Kai? Kai is gonna help us through Yoshpet. Gonna lead us through the evil forest. Very nice. Yeah, right. Mm. Mm. Don't let the day of darkness fool you. It's not that bad. You'll see. You know, it's kind of crap that everyone knows who Shiranui is, but Amaterasu? Uh, I've never heard of that before. Who's that? I'm only the fucking sun goddess. That's all. Another reason why it was so important to get that amulet. You're thinking that because... <clears throat> you're thinking that because Kai is gonna lead you in the forest that you can just go ahead to Yoshpet and she'll let you in no problem. No, you actually need to get it yourself. Everyone needs their own special crest in order to get into Yoshpet. Kai can't let you in. So you need three things to get into the forest. You need the Elder's Permission, you need the crest, and you need Kai as your guide. You get those three things, you can get into Yoshpet no problem. And you can actually see it right there where that sun mark is. So let's head over there. But first... There's a chest down here and some birds to feed. Then they want fish. I guess fish is more of a late-game kind of food. 
because these motherfuckers will only eat fish. And still a nice bit of praise, too. What's in here? Uh, nothing much, really. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey! I almost couldn't get that. Amethyst tassels. And, uh, oh! That actually completes our, our, uh, animal book. Yeah, our animal bestiary has been completed. Nice. I didn't think we'd be getting it that quickly. I didn't think we got them all yet. Well, cool! Ha ha ha! Before we get to Yosh Pet, though... If you have all three of the things to get into Yosh Pet, the bull charge will let you know that you're doing things right. Can't attack him from the front, attack him from his stupid back because he's an idiot. He's not exactly a hard enemy. Let's see if I can hit him without getting hit myself. Just keep dodging, keep moving, you should be fine. He's also got an ice sword and a flame sword, I think. And his floral finisher is the Inferno, but we don't have anything to do that with. And when he gets dizzy, you can slash him, and his helmet will come off, so you can hit him anywhere or wherever. Glaive also works very well, too, if you want to get some good hits in. Again, not, not a very hard enemy to deal with. Dead. It's a bit of yen, too, man. Well, with that out of the way, let's feed some more bears. Really, the only thing that we can feed these animals for is just for praise. Because we've got to max out everything else, too. With the power of the crest, the door opens for us, well, practically automatically. Oh yeah, looks really inviting. Uh, isn't this the northeastern forest? Heading in and Waka! What are you doing here? He'll tell us later, but we'll find out for ourselves in another quest later on that I'll probably do at the end of the season or next season, I don't know. What? Eh? That's pretty far-fetched to soon. Is that an ACDC reference? I wonder if it was like that in the Japanese version. I wouldn't put it past Hideki Kamiya to put an ACDC reference in one of his games. It seems about right. Gee, I wonder what he could be talking about. Suna's really getting angry in this in this part of the game. Just just yelling at everybody and pissing everybody off, and it's kind of crap. I think he needs some time to cool down, so we'll go ahead and save here, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD.